from the station working for you. This is a WRTV update. I'm WRTV's Megan Shen, and these are your latest headlines. Three people are in the hospital after a head-on collision in Bartholomew County. This happened around 645 this morning just south of Columbus on County Road 450 between State Road 11 and County Road 175 West. All three people who were inside the two cars had to be flown to hospitals in Indianapolis. There's no word on what caused the crash. We're still working to get an update on the conditions of the victims. And state lawmakers have taken a step towards a possible court fight with Governor Eric Holcomb over some of his emergency powers. The House today voted to override Holcomb's veto of a bill that would shift some emergency authority away from the governor and to the legislature. The bill was pushed by Republican lawmakers. Some of them were upset by Holcomb's long-term mask mandate and restrictions on businesses that were part of the effort to slow the spread of COVID-19. The override effort now goes to the state Senate. The governor has has not yet said whether he would challenge the law in court if the state Senate also votes against his veto. And let's get a check now with meteorologist Todd Clausen. And Megan, as we go throughout the course of the next couple of days, temperatures are going to be running at or below normal. Skies will be partly cloudy throughout the day today, especially the further we get into the afternoon hours. Now, if you're to the east, you do hang on to the clouds a little bit longer. And as a result, and that is why your temperatures are a little bit cooler in the low 50s compared to closer to 60 degrees from Lafayette into the Bloomington area. Overnight tonight, really, really chilly once again. Partly cloudy, some patchy frost going down into the 30s for everybody. And then throughout the day tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny skies and high temperatures. Megan, that'll be back up close to 60 degrees. Todd, thank you. And for more weather and stories you need to know, download the WRTV app. Thanks for joining us.